Hey guys, it's me, iSorrow Productions, and welcome to my new series, a self-help series on how exactly you can overcome your crippling depression by playing grand strategy games. Aha, that was a joke. You're going to be depressed with the rest of us for the rest of your life. Anyway, it's me, iSorrow Productions, and we're back at it again with some more terrible mods reviews so leave a like for some more terrible mod reviews leave me suggestions down below and let's get into the depression so you know i thought i'd pick a topical mod nowadays we just did australia and civilization 6 so you know what, what better nation to play as really than australia's evil nemesis the evil emu empire oh oh wait the evil emo emu empire um why well, yes, the Australians tried to murder us, genocide us, and, you know, do some weird breathing programs that we weren't quite f big fans of, but now it's time for our revenge. You've got to give this mod credit, they've put the effort into it. Of course, I'm not 100% why the emus are so emo, but it might have something to do with the whole living in Australia thing. But hey, already got some plus points from me, because look, they've even bothered to put in a fucking focus tree, alright? And you know, it's like, quite hard for some, but this one's gone the extra mile and they even put in the genocide the Australians focus. But of course, we're gonna start off by making our good old political system of the e emo emu empire more stable. And we do start off with... A John Curtin? Right, I've seen what John Curtin can do. We, we need to take these Australians out pretty damn quick. So I, the, thankfully, the game has put some trucks right here for me to drive right into their capital. Thank God. And there you go. Australia's given up quite quickly, as they usually do against emus. And now we've got whole new avenues to explore with our slightly depressed emus. Thankfully, our good old sad emo emu has led our way to victory this day. Wait, you're not a fucking emu. We've got a nice solid political foundation now here in the emu empire with a nice bit of manpower behind us, but it's time to expand further. Industry? No, no. We, we need to become fascist. Well, looky here, enough political powerpoints here to actually hire someone and let's... Wait a second, none of you are emus? I guess we just captured a bunch of Australians and now they promote fascism in our country. Hmm, uncontested emu control or freedom for emu kind? I'm not quite... <laughs> yeah. Oh, so much room for our evil emo emu emus to explore and wonder, but I have just noticed that we need more land, and I've also just noticed that apparently it's minus one, <laughs> minus one days to do a justification in this mod. I don't know what you're on about, this mod is not overpowered. Why would it be over- overpowered? Good old sad emo emu's got a taste for some ladyboys. I'm sorry, but your machine guns don't quite work on me, for I am an emu. But I will be taking your land now. Things just aren't going well enough. We need to lay down the law, and for starters, we need to lay down the, the lady boys. Oh, we've got we've got a rogue, rogue emu. They've landed in the fucking Philippines. Uh, guys, get get the machine. You know, I think we've done good here. We've took the Philippines. We've took Thailand. I don't think we need any more land for our emu. Maybe just do a little, a little bit more land, just a tiny bit. Oh, looky here! Japan wants to be our best buddy, and I guess we've got to, we've got to, we've got to get a faction name that really captures both of our ideals. Since I'm emo and they're Japan in World War Two, that that sounds about right. You know, it's nothing personal, Australia, but you did lose the war to the emus. And now that we're allied with the Japanese, we might as well just send our foreign emu, e emo, emu expeditionaries off to promote our ideals in foreign countries. Ah, oh, fuck, the Chinese are uniting against the emu menace. It might have something to do with the Japanese also invading them, but I'm pretty sure they're probably a bit more worried about the whole emus walking around in tanks and guns. I mean, it's nothing personal, it's just the emu focus tree, alright, Australia, everyone loves your accents, um, totally. Anyway, uh, Hirohito, now we're best friends and all, it's time for me to uh, get involved with this Chinese war. You know, it's a it's player-led peace conferences, and you might think I won't give the Japanese anything, but don't worry, I'll give them their fair share. Uh, this one goes out to my grandpapa, currently fighting in Vietnam, get well soon, grandpappy. Who knew it just wasn't a 
messed up with anime trash and I should have dropped another one. Fuck Japan, let's say fuck Japan. Anyway, after my fair peace conference and I gave the Japanese loads of land, we ended up war with fucking Stalin. And you know, Stalin, you can purge your enemies, but you can't purge the fucking emus, I'll tell you that. He can't purge us, but apparently he can fucking defend his country with like five people, all right? Because I can't push through the fucking Soviet Union. Fun, fun times in Hearts of Iron 4. So I've decided to call in the fucking big boys. That's right, it's the Mecha Emu. So unfortunately, pushing through the Soviet Union is about as fun as you'd imagine. So we've decided instead to push through Iran. And boy, gee, was that easier than fighting the fucking Soviets, but now we've got easy access to good old Stalin's asshole and we're about to push an emu head right through it. It's not even funny anymore. This is the base game. The base fucking game! Oh boy, doesn't our country kind of look like an emu itself? No, just kind of a kind of a retarded emu. But anyway, look at how great- Oh, wait a second, what's that? The Allies have landed- Wait, that's not the Allies, that's the Republic of- Fu Wait, the Socialist Republic of Ohio? Oh shit, it's getting worse. The <laughs> fucking, the Socialist Republic of Idaho's here too now. The this is the emu's arch nemesis. Oh, and Stalin unfortunately couldn't purge the emus, but thankfully we've got all their land to look after now. I'm sorry, but with Ohio and Idaho around Germany, you just can't be trusted, all right? We're gonna have to take you over to prevent a possible world war, all right? Knock, knock, Germany. Uh, oh, no, nobody's home. Well, hey, everyone, guys, just head straight in the back door and help yourself to all the brats with you on. Oh, uh, look, you threatened to take the sausages and they all arrive just on time. But more importantly, I've just noticed that Japan's sending volunteers to fucking Germany, despite the fact we're fucking allied, Japan, you goddamn prick. Oh, no, what happened to Idaho? Uh, oh, oh, no, it's, it's Texas. The Lone Star Empire of Fascist Texas. As you can see, the front's going well. We're pushing the Hungarians, Germans, and Italians back one by one, and we're not that far from Berlin. Unfortunately, though, Ohio is back, and uh, we, uh, this is this isn't going to end pretty, Ohio. Thankfully, though, Mussolini has also decided to run away, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, Germany capitulated, and it looks like a fucking mess. Wonderful. Oh, there you go. They've all capitulated and now it's time for a shitty peace conference. Oh, our great emo emu empire were, were sad as ever, but the world has been purged of Nazis. Uh, unfortunately, Ohio has created some sort of weird West German buffer state and Idaho's in Italy. Could be worse, so... You know, they could they could be elsewhere. Other than that, nothing nothing else changed in the peace still. Uh nothing at all. Yeah. That, that was pretty easy peace still really. Anyway, I think we're gonna have to deal with a few problems over here next. Whoa! But before anything can happen, it looks like fucking Texas is gonna take care of Ohio on on the road, but I guess I guess we can't just sit around and wait for nothing. We're gonna have to take them over now. Yeah, the whole two Germany's thing is just a bit outplayed, really, Ohio, and I don't like you, so... Oh, well, before I could even do anything, Idaho's... Oh, no! Texas has taken Italy! I mean, this flagrant aggression, I... Oh, my God, I... I was Ohio our enemy this whole time, or was it Texas? Oh, no, the Socialist Republic of Kentucky has joined in the war against me! I'm sorry, Texas, but I can't sit around and watch you take over the world. There we go, we managed to push the Texans out of Italy quite fast, mostly because the Texans didn't really understand where Italy was on the map anyway, so we've also had to call in the madman himself, Mr. Llama, to uh, lead a sneaky invasion. Unfortunately, Mr. Llama's skills alone weren't, weren't enough to lead our sneaky invasion of, of the Americas because we've had to hire an outside hire, but because of e the Emu Emo Empire's policies of equality and diversity, we can't, we can't tell you which general it is that isn't an emu, but uh, it might be Jonas Taylor. The emus have landed, boys, and onwards we go with Sneaky Llamason. One down. With Ohio down, we've just got to deal with Cascadia and the peace seal's over. Well, I guess that's all they wrote. We managed to take out Kentucky, uh, Ohio, Idaho, Texas. We took out all the big names today. We left the puppet government in control of South... North America? 
the Nebraskan Empire. Also, by the looks, apparently someone we capitulated had 40,000 convoys. What the fuck? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I hope the sight of my evil emu, em, emo, emu dick going straight into the enemy made made you slightly entertained. Remember to leave a like if you enjoy emu, emo, emu dick, and uh, leave me a suggestion for more terrible mods down below. Um, I might be dead by then, though. Also, 10 billion likes and I'll release a full goddamn album about how much I hate Japan.